Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video, I am going to cover SAS interview questions and answers on functions. So let's start. This is me and about my experience and about my SAS certifications. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me or if you want to buy my digital course, you can email me or you can WhatsApp me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, you can ask me for a SAS interview session. It's a two hour session and fees is just 1000 rupees. Also, if you are struggling with SAS software, you can contact me. I can help you on SAS software related things. Let's move on to the next slide. Here is the first question. What is the use of call as function? So guys, this question is mostly ask in SAS interviews if someone is going to ask a question on functions. So here is the answer. The call as function returns the first non missing value in all the listed argument. So let's understand this by an example. So here is the example. So in this example in the first data step, I am creating a data set name check and I'm creating three variables variable one variable two variable three. All three variables are numeric and these are the observations or values I am entering. So let's see the output of this first data set. So this is the output. If you see it has five observations the one two three four five and the value for first variable in first observation is missing. So var one is missing var two and var three variables have the values two and three for second observations. If you see it's First value is one, second is dot missing, and third is three. And three is first two variables have value one, two, and third value is dot. So third value is dot. So similarly, fourth observation we have all three variables have missing values, and the last observation, first two variables have missing values, and last one has value three. In the next data step, what I am doing is I am using call as function to find the first non missing value of all these three variables. So in this data step I'm creating a data set name check call as then copying all the values of check data set that we have just created and now I'm creating a variable test call and this test call variable will have the first non missing value in all these three arguments. So variable one variable two and variable three. If any one of these variable have non missing value that will be assigned to test call variable. So let's see the output of this check or less data set. So if you see in the first observation the value of variable one is missing but value of variable two is two. So that means this would be the first non missing value. If we see the order variable one variable two variable three. That's why our test call variable has the value two because call as function has written the non missing value in these three variables. So non missing value is in second variable. So that's why we got value of second variable here. If we see the same in second observation. So here if you see the first variable itself has the non missing value. That's why we see that in test call variable value is one and in third observation if we see variable one and variable two both have the non missing value but call as function picks the first non missing value. So here if you see the variable one has the non missing value. So that's why in test call we have value one for the observation four, all three variables have the missing value. So that's why our variable test call has the missing value and for the last observation variable one variable two both have the missing value. So variable three has the non missing value. So call as function return the value three in test call. I hope guys this call as function is clear now. Let's move on to the next slide. OK, here is the next question. What will be the length of variable message in below program? So in the below program I am creating a data set length test and then creating a variable named message. And in this message, I am just concatenating joining two string into one. So here is I love and says. So these two string will be concatenated with the help of cat function. So question is what would be the size of this message? So guys generally what we think like okay the size would be number of these characters and these and then we add and we think that this would be the answer but this is incorrect because the length of this message is not previously defined. So that's why this cat function will return 
a total size of 200. So answer is length is 200 and this is because cat function returns default length as 200 if length is not previously specified. Let's see the properties of this data set to verify what is the size. So if we right click on data set and see the properties, so you can see in the column section, if you go into the message column or variable, type is character and length is showing 200. So just remember there are few functions like this. They return a value 200 if the variable's length is not previously specified. Let's move on to the next question. Difference between scan and sub str function. As we know that these two functions can extract part of a string from the main string. But what is the difference? Let's see the answer. These are the differences. So scan function. Scan function extracts string using delimiters. Whereas sub str function uses position to extract the values. Second is scan function also allows you to extract the string from right side by mentioning minus along with the delimiter before you want to extract the string. So if you want to extract a part of a string and you want to extract from the right side, not the left. Generally, we extract from the left side and count the number of delimiters, but scan also provides this functionality. So you can specify minus along with the number if you want to pick the first word, second words from the delimiter. So you can specify minus along with that. So if you specify minus one, that means it will pick the first word from the first delimiter from the right side. Whereas sub str function extract portion of a string by specifying starting position and number of characters from the specified start position. So by giving the starting position and the number of characters from that position, you can extract a string from sub str. So the last argument that is number of characters, how many number of character you want to extract. If you do not specify, that means you are extracting all the characters available from the starting position. So it's not a mandatory thing to specify. I hope now you understood the difference between scan and sub str function. Let's move on to the next slide. Difference between find and index function. So this question is mostly asked in interviews if there is a question asked on functions. Okay, so as we know that find and index both function just tell us the position of a substring in the main string. So functionality is same, but what is the difference between both of them? So index function is an old SAS function. It provides position of input string in substring. It will return the position of substring in the main string. Whereas find function is latest and more advanced as compared to index and does include all the functionalities of index function. So find function is the advanced and most latest. It has all the functionality that index can does. Okay, second is find gives you option to specify search position. So you can specify a search position from where the searching should start. Instead of first character in the main string, you can specify a position. If you want to search it from the fifth, if you want to searching from the 10th position, you can specify in find function. The third is find allows you to use modifiers. So these are the differences and find function is the most advanced so instead of index we should use find let's move on to the next question what is the difference between intck and intnx function so guys the question on these intck and int function is mostly asked so you should know about these two functions if you are going for interview just revise this before the interview 10 minutes before or 20 minutes before or 30 minutes before so that if they ask this question you will be able to answer because most of the people are so confused between both of these functions so here is the answer. Below are the differences. INTCK function provides the difference interval between two dates. So if you want to calculate a difference between two date or if you want to calculate an age if and if you have the date of birth with you, so you can just take a interval between today's date and the date of birth. So today's date you can pick from the today function. So you can easily calculate the age. Whereas INTNX function allows you to increase or decrease year, month and days in a date or you can increase quarter, week or other options are also there. So if you want to, for example, if you are working and you want to pick a date from previous month, what generally people do is they minus one month from the date by just manually specifying. But the month is one and if you minus one, 
then it will not give you a 12. It will give you zero, right? One minus one becomes zero. So that's why we cannot use directly minus one thing to decrease the dates or to increase after 12th month means December. If you add one, that means a 13th month. 13th month is no month. Okay, it should give a first month January. So in this scenario, we use INTNX function and based on our requirements, we just specify the year, month or days. So it's up to you how you will use it. So this is the difference between both of them. Let's move on to the next slide. So that's it guys in this session. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe my channel or do comment if you like this session or if you want a session on any other specific topic, I will create it. So guys, we will meet in the next session. Till the time, bye and take care.